Today, I would like to show you the performance differences between the three different modes on the TRX4M ESC. What we have here is the TRX4M. This is the blue Bronco body version. And what I figured out was a couple of nuances with the different modes in our ESC. It has three modes. The first mode has no drag brake. The second mode has drag brake with some problems, I'll say, plus double tap reverse. And then the third one is a regular crawler mode that, in my opinion, should have come stock. So you're probably going to want to put it into that crawler mode anyway. So what we're going to do, turn on our radio, of course, and we're going to use this easy set button to get ourselves into mode one. And to do that, you hold down the button until it flashes red one time, boop, and then you let go of the button. So now we have no drag brake and we have double tap reverse. So one, two, double tap, forwards, double tap, and no drag brake. As you can see, it will roll down this very readily, as if we had no drag brake, because we don't. And we fast as fast can be. Let's try mode two. This is the stock mode. Mode two is, mode two B's, one, one, two, and then release the button. Now, do we have drag brake in one direction? There's drag brake in one direction. Let's reverse the rig and see what happens in the opposite direction. Mmm, we have more drag brake. Interesting. So, there's some. It seems like there's more drag brake than nothing. I'm going to unplug it. Okay, so there's still some drag brake in this mode number two, but it's more in one direction than another, which is really weird. I, I don't understand why they would do that, except for maybe to keep you from flipping forwards when you release, maybe? I, I don't know. That's my guess. But as you can see, when we're rolling backwards, it's more full drag brake. But if I tap backwards, then it starts rolling backwards at the, the, the higher rate. Uh, so now we go back to forwards in mode two, and now we've got the full drag brake in forward direction. Really perplexing to me. So if I tap forwards, now we have the reduced drag brake. Still not a complete free roll, but <laughs> it, it's, it's just odd, just odd to me. So if I tap reverse, now suddenly we get more drag brake in mode two. It's slightly inconsistent. It also has a double tap reverse. So let's go forwards and then, whoa, that was weird. Um, I gave it some reverse throttle and it started going faster in the roll mode. Probably because it doesn't have, uh, I guess it'd be called synchronous rectification or active drag brake mode. We'll deal with that in the future more. <laughs> really weird. At any rate, I don't like mode two. That's the stock mode. So we're going to hold down this button. One blink, one, two blinks one two three blinks and we're ready to go now it's got much stronger drag brake now this is with ball bearings inside the transmission but without the body if i add the weight of the body or any of the aftermarket accessories that are brass then you're going to have some free roll at that point uh, unless you still have bushings in which case it's probably not going to free roll as much, but it's a, it's a torque loss. So in my opinion, you don't want bushings to increase your drag brake. What I would do to increase drag brake is probably get that low speed, whatever the part number is, uh, low speed transmission, where'd that thing go? Here is that the one? 9791R is the transmission that has the low speed gear set in it. Yeah, look, I mean, that, that's still plenty controllable, but... Uh, let's see, we'll reverse it, and it still is going the same speed in both directions in mode three. Uh, just kind of, just some odd inconsistencies. But like I said, it's a crawler. You probably want to put it in crawler mode. And if you want even more control, then you'll get an aftermarket ESC, uh, something like a 1080 from Hobby Wing or uh, a BR Mini, which is going to be a high cost for this little bitty rig, in my opinion. A 1080 is going to be more cost affordable, but it's also going to be huge at the same time. So, you know, six of one, half a dozen of the other. 
Maybe that new uh, ISDT ESC, that could be a good choice. I don't have any experience with them, but I know that they're really low cost and it should have the on throttle drag, the active drag brake that we would desire in a situation. Cause if I give this a little bit of reverse throttle, woo, it just free rolls while you're on throttle. And probably the same thing if I give it a little forward throttle, it's just got a free coast, yeah. And we don't really have enough weight to keep it from flipping forwards. So yeah, um, in my opinion, that third mode is definitely the one to be in. You just need to be more careful. Maybe that's why they have the weirdness in the mode two that they don't want you to flip over forwards unless you're trying to, you know, you hit the brakes in reverse and it slows you down even more. But that's, that's just really odd that they would have the drag brake be different strengths in different directions. So in my opinion, mode three, that's what we want. That's what I'll be keeping mine in. So there you go. There's the performance differences. And of course, in mode three, it's instant reverse. It's not double tap. If you're going downhill or if you're going to flip over backwards going uphill, then you really don't want that double tap reverse, in my opinion. Such a small rig, though. Uh, well, with a small rig, you actually need faster reaction time. So that double tap, you might not have enough time to uh, save yourself. Um, for example, let's just show you what I'm talking about. You're going up a hill and uh, you give enough throttle that it, it's going to fall backwards. <laughs> yeah, there's... There's not enough time. It's such a small rig. You can't even get to the reverse in time, at least on this sort of situation. So there you go. That at least shows you the differences between it. In my opinion, that mode three is definitely what you want to be in for a crawler. It does come with a downside of stronger drag brake, if you could consider that a downside. But yeah, I think it should have been mode three out of the box, but just my opinion on the matter. All right, I think that pretty much covers it for the different modes. If you want to see the video of how to change the mode specifically, we do have a video for that as well. If you have any questions about anything, leave them down in the comments and I will do my best to get to them. As always, thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.